Try and win to do steal our MTB is a generic malware detection that you may observe in your system. It flags a rather dangerous malware, more specifically InfoStealer or a spyware. At the same time, there is a possibility of it being a false positive, and in this video I will explain how to understand whether there is a real threat to your system and how to remove the actual malware. Let's begin with understanding what the detection means. Try and win to steal our MTB is pretty self-explanatory, really, but at the same time it carries no additional details. The MTB part at the end suggests that it comes from the heuristic detection system of Microsoft Defender, but the rest of it clearly says that there is likely an InfoStealer virus active somewhere in the system. General symptoms of this malware are insignificant until you see your online accounts being hijacked. That usually happens 4 or 5 days after the attack, and it looks like a parallel session from an unknown location or a complete inability to log in due to a changed password. Along with that, accounts start spreading tons of spam messages, mainly targeting your friends and subscribers. Initial stealthiness is one of the biggest dangers when InfoStealer malware. You are unlikely to see its activity until it is too late. But what if the Steeler MTB detection is not real? As I mentioned before, it comes from the heuristic engine of Microsoft Defender, which works great most of the time, but can sometimes backfire and detect legitimate programs. This detection is particularly triggered to a suspicious networking activity, a thing that the majority of safe apps can have. An absent digital certificate or just an outdated database that fails to prove the program is innocent is enough to cause the false positive detection. In such a case, when the flagged program or file is safe and you are sure about it, you can simply ignore the detection. Though it may be challenging to understand what exactly is flagged. Moreover, certain spyware and InfoStealer samples place their files among ones of legitimate programs, complicating the process. To clear out the system's security, I would recommend scanning the system with Gruden Soft and Timelware. This program will clarify the uncertainty that Microsoft Defender has created. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan, so the malware won't hide even in the most remote corner of the system. The scan will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click the Clean Now button to remove the detected malware. If nothing shows up, then you have probably encountered a false positive detection. But when there are detections, I will recommend you to reset the passwords to all accounts that you use on this computer, so that the hackers won't make use of the leaked credentials. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.